So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to go through a question that we see in the textbook. This is from the Copeland text. Uh, I'm going to do this question over here, which is question 8. Uh, a steel bridge carries a load of 200 kilonewtons. What will be the tensile stress if the cable has a diameter of 200 millimetres? So the way that we've got to do this is we first of all got to go through what we know and what we don't know. Now the question states that the cable carries a load of 200 newtons and uh, that the tensile stress is unknown but they do tell us that the diameter is 20 millimeters. Now with all these kinds of questions I like to just draw a diagram so this is a cable and it's got a tensile load so it's going to be pulled in tensile with a load of or a force of 200 newtons and the cross-sectional diameter is 20 millimeters now with all these kinds of problems you need to make sure that you understand that we need to turn everything into SI units. So this is in newtons and this is in millimeters. The first thing we're going to need to turn this diameter to is into meters. Now because it's millimeters directly to meters we can say it's 20 times 10 to the minus 3 or divide it by 1000 meters. And if you really want to make that simple on your calculator all you need to do is 20 divided by 1 thousand and that gives you 0 0.02 meters as the diameter so that's the very first step is you need to make sure everything is in SI units now the second step is we've got to get our formula so we know that stress equals force over area and if you look at the question carefully the question is saying to you what is question 8 here what will be the tensile stress if the cable has a diameter? Notice the word tensile. Tensile is the same as the compressive stress area, so that gives you the information about which surface area to, to use in your calculation. So if we go back to our question, what we see is that it's this surface area over here, or that cross-sectional surface area that we need to use as our area, and we've been given our force, which is 200 newtons, so all we need to do is calculate what is the area of that circle. And we all know that the area of the circle is pi r squared. So it's half of this diameter, which is 20. So it's going to be 3.14 times, and this is the diameter, so half it, 0 0.01 squared. So I'm just going to get that into my calculator. So I'm just going to divide that by 2 which gives me my 0 0.01. I'm going to square that. So that gives me that number squared. And I'm going to times it by 3.14. On your calculator, you might have pi. You can make it more complex if you want, but that's close enough for us. It's 0 0.000314 meters squared is the surface area or the cross-sectional surface area of this particular cable. So that's 0 0.000314. So now all I need to do, let's rewrite that just to be pedantic, is do this into my calculator. So I'll take my 200 divided by 0 0.000314 equals 636. 942.6 pascals. Now the answer, no reason I know it's pascals is because I've gone and divided newtons by meters, and pascals is newton meters. Now normally we don't uh, leave our answer like that. We would normally turn it into uh, non-SI. So we go one, two, three to get it into thousands. So it's 636.9 kilopascals. And that would be the tensile, tensile stress 
of that particular cable.